coalescent assimilation. In this type of connected, connected speech process, a sequence of two sounds coalesces and gives place to a single new sound, different from either of the original sounds. When explaining this kind of process, it's important to pay attention to the pronunciation of words. For example, in the case of coalescent assimilation, we are using the adjective coalescent. But later on, we, use, we have to use the right form of the verb coalesce. Coalesce. Which in this case is coalesces. Why? Because we are talking about a sequence of two sounds. So, please remember to check the pronunciation of words. We can explain this process by means of a formula. Sounds A and C influence each other and coalesce into a single sound B. Now let's see some examples. If the words horse and shoe are juxtaposed, that is to say, I are put together in context, the fortis alveolar fricative sound may change into a palato alveolar fricative itself because of the influence of the following palato alveolar fricative. In the case of don't and you, the two sounds combine and change into one single sound, don't you? So, instead of producing two different, two different articulations, we end up pronouncing a single one. One for the palato alveolar affricate. In the following table, we, we can see the usual combinations which produce coalescent assimilation. Now I'd like you to stop the video and transcribe the sentences phonemically. Then continue watching it and check your answers. Well, in the first, in the first uh, phrase, we can see how the alveolar fort explosive comes into contact with the palatal semivowel and change into a palatal alveolar affricate. What you want, what you want. Something similar happens in the case of would you, would you. The palato alveolar voiced affricate is used when the, the voiced alveolar plosive comes into contact with the palatal semivowel. Similarly, alveolar fricative sounds when coming into contact with the palatal semivowel change into palato alveolar fricatives. As in in case you need it, in case you need it, or instead of saying has your letter come, we may replace the voiced alveolar fricative by the palatal alveolar, alveolar one, has your letter come, has your letter come. Another example which underwent the same process is EJET, EJET. So, what you want, would you, in case, in case you need it. Has your letter come? EJET. Finally, it's important to notice that the coalescent is more complete in the case of uh, alveolar plosives plus the palatal semivowel. 
especially in mini questions or question tags. Didn't you? Could you? In the case of the alveolar fricative sounds plus the palatal semivowel, we have to remember they usually coalesce into palato-alveolar fricative sounds. So, another important thing to remember is that the voiceless sound will change into a voiceless one and the voiced alveolar fricative will change into a voiced palato-alveolar fricative.